So I'll click publish. Before we create a relationship, let me click this publish. So I'll replace the existing dashboard for the HR analysis. So yeah, HR workforce diversity will select and then I will select, okay. Now you can see like the measures based on the calculated column, which is the bonus amount and other measure based on, okay, the sum of that we generated for the active employees. Okay. Now let's go back to the quick side. Now let's see how to create relationship between the two tables. To do this, we have to go to the data set. I know I can actually go from the data set by using, you know that we can go, go to the data set by using this option, manage data set and click, okay, edit. Okay, now let me add a data set of the employees who are going to have transfers. So this data set will have basically the employee ID of those employees who are going to have a transfer and the department name to which they are going to be transferred. So yeah, to do this, let me click on add data and then click upload a file. Then yeah, this is the data set that I want to actually use. Click open. So it's loading the preview. Uh, yeah, basically we see employee ID and the new department. Let's click next. So once the second data is added, you will see there are two circles. Okay, when I click this circle, you will get this configuration details. So here, right, how do you want to actually establish the relationship between the HR data set and the transfer HR, HR transfer data set? So based on the employee ID, right, I will collect the employee ID from here. And also over here, I will select the EID. And uh, what set of join we want to do? We want to do a left join because basically we want to get the department yeah for the new employees using the left join uh, we have other other joints also available like inner join right join full join so in this case let's apply okay left join so once you do that the icon is now changed to the left join okay symbol so as soon as the data set is loaded, uh, now you will see that, okay, uh, the EID and the transfer department for the new employees being okay shown here. It's not applicable for all the employees, only for the few employees it is applicable. However, right, this field is redundant. We can exclude this. So by selecting this and clicking, okay, exclude field. So now we will have only the new department. Okay, so now let's consolidate uh, this new department and uh, yeah, the department that we have already have, that's our old department. So to do this right, um, we can actually create a new field by clicking on this and click add calculated field. So we can use the if else option which you have seen in the earlier part so let's do this if else i'll say this as okay department final department okay so in this case i will actually check if the new department field is null so to do this let me go and select the new department Okay, also I will check whether uh, it is null right so for that right, I can use the functions is null so here I will check whether the new department is null if it is null then in that case I will select uh, the the uh, okay the department from the HR data set if not null, then I will select the department from the HR transfer data set. So yeah, pretty much okay. This is the function that I want to use. Let me click save. Now I will, will see at the end, okay, a calculated column called new department that is being added.
yep you can see final department okay here it is so we can see the final department so whenever okay let's take okay one example of new department so here you can see like marketing is the new department for the employee and uh, whereas he was initially in the human resource so now the final department is going to be for him marketing so now since we have like uh, many departments listed now i can now okay yeah uh, i can even okay uh, disable this new department I'll exclude this field and once this is done right let me click publish and visualize data yeah once it is done now we will actually uh, uh, change the department over here from department to final department okay we have here we'll replace this now we have seen okay how to establish relationship between two tables by using a join okay by taking okay different uh, join types like by determining different join types whether it is like in a left right or full and based on that combined table we have created a analysis we can also write uh, let if i have to go back to manage data set click ok edit so on this data set right i can also implement filters to do this i can actually add filter and let's say like i want to only take the status to be ok i will say like ok status to be only active i can even do that I click apply and uh, let's wait for this visual to load here now you will see right all the status are only active so however let's not do this for our analysis so yeah this is how right we will actually you know do some data preparation by excluding the fields changing the field names we can even change the data types also right we can you know filter the data before okay, consuming into the visual so yep let me click publish and visualize for now